you've just seen, we have an impressive one-level mansion set in Marbella Club Golf Resort, which was created by Marbella Club, which was the first step in Marbella development, by the way. And it's an amazing modern property set over the golf course, enjoying some panoramic sea and Gibraltar views, which is such a special and popular gaze in Marbella. Really excited about this property, so let's jump straight to the specs. 5,700 square meters plot. We have a build size of 1,370 square meters, a six bedroom suite, and an asking price of nine and a half million euros. Okay, let's go. Take a look at this entrance. It's truly one and a kind and unique. Where have you seen something like this? I haven't. The property also includes a spa, indoor and outdoor swimming pool, cinema room, spacious garage for five cars, mini football pitch, and separate staff quarters. From there you get a really nice angle to all the parking space that we have. Once the gate opens up to the property we have a beautiful driveway with the car access in this parking space. Then from here we have a garage for five cars and on the other side there is a carport for two cars. The moment you drive in here and you start maneuvering you've got the beautiful yellow stone on both sides of the carport giving that special first vibes going on. Beautiful olive tree next to the entrance. The Bali style gardens, which we'll see a little bit later, are stunning and something absolutely, truly unique. The moment we start approaching the property, we are greeted by this entrance hall, double height, encapsulated in glass, okay? So at this stage already, you know something special is waiting for you inside. And now that we know that this property is one level, let's take a look at it from the sky. The villa has like a U shape, maybe even a W shape. We have two kitchens next to the carport with direct and easy access from it. Next to the kitchen we have the dining and lounge which accesses terraces and garden on both sides. Further along there is a cinema and then we enter the bedroom areas which finishes with the master suite that I will enjoy a lot showing you. And then the master is connected directly with the spa with the indoor swimming pool. As we enter we have the first feeling impression of the property with its double height, beautiful, stunning, painting in the entrance that gets the vibe going got hanging chandeliers over this round sofa in essence we've got a room of great proportion and size and volume basically a wow effect altogether as soon as we walk through this wide hallway we've got the walk-in closet guest toilet and an office space and on the other side we have this truly unique Bali style gardens which for me is something very special and makes this property stand out above everything else but we'll get to that in a second coming over we get to the living and kitchen space which i'm a huge fan of this altitude because it feels very spacious but at the same time you still can create that cozy and family feeling to the room the flow of the room is really nice it's open plan together with the kitchen and living space all of it separated by this chimney which is a huge decorative element but as well creates a bit of privacy to each room we have a gas fireplace double-sided we also have a tv on both sides very beautiful ceramic and this wooden element is repeated all over the kitchen a bit of that masculinity to it wine cellar is positioned very strategically i would say right next to the dining to the living to the kitchen and to the terrace We've got the breakfast table or even maybe I would call it myself a snacking table because I'd be here all day. Six people at least. Very good size, oversized I would say, island kitchen. The sink is over here. In the middle we've got, very important, your iPhone charger. You don't want to get that missing. Then your cooking happens over here with the extractor. I've got some beautiful lamps on top of it and just notice how sleek and how big is the kitchen island like you can have here plenty of cooking happening at the same time no problem behind me we have the main kitchen sections which i like as well that the airflow carries on top of them and doesn't just close off the room which is pretty nice the dark wood i love it and then we've got of course pretty much everything you need here everything's gagging out as well we've got the coffee machine plate heater microwave oven double fridge which i just want you to picture the width of each fridge this is fridge fridge freezer freezer each one of these gagging out they cost at least 10 to 50k each of them okay on the other side we have a second kitchenette nicely hidden but can immediately give that extra support to the main kitchen in case of a friend gathering or party 
There's also a laundry and a storage room right next to the door that leads to the carport. And another special feature of this kitchen, which I left for last, is this vertical natural garden right inside the house. Talk about bringing the outdoor living into the indoor living and combining it all together. It's awesome and gives that life to the room. And now the living room. I tell you, this is one of my favorite living rooms of all time. And no joking around, no exaggeration, honestly. I'll explain to you why. First of all, your eye view to the sides is 22 meters long. Back and forth, it's almost infinite. Then, apart from the height of the ceiling being four meters, the developer also opted for floor to ceiling windows, which is pretty impressive. In my opinion, the furniture is very stylish and suits the property, the architecture very much. Apart from that, you can tell that the sofa is really comfy. You've got plenty of space. The dining table is artistic as well. Sits eight people at least with natural wood. Pretty cool artwork on the walls. Important, gets that vibe going. We've got plenty of space even for piano table from here and not somewhere. Just you sitting right on this piano, you're enjoying the sea view with all your garden and swimming pool outside. Then, I mean, this is like another special feature all by itself. Once again, to enjoy and relax these views. And now, probably, best thing we're gonna do is take you to the outside to see that stunning views, see the swimming pool, the chiringuito, the chill out areas. Pretty cool, let's carry on. Coming out to the terrace, we have this great long covered porch protecting the interior from the sun. And further on the stairs, we can appreciate this magnificent sea views. And we get down to the chill out area where the pool is. The outside area for me is perfect. You've got a very big swimming pool, several different garden areas, great lounge area with a chimney bar area and lots of covered space protecting you from the sun. I really love this green, big tiles that they use in the pool, this Bali style, which is repeated all over the house. There's plenty of Buddhas and beautiful olive trees throughout. Also, another nice detail is that this area can be accessed directly from the carport. We also have the exterior toilets over here. And from this spot, we can once again appreciate the architecture of the property, which I think is truly beautiful, how they made use of the yellow stone with the white walls, the glass, the green elements all together is quite stunning. Another important detail about this property is that it owns the whole mountain on which it stands like an island surrounded by the golf course with 24 hour security in this community, barriers, you've got an equestrian center and a restaurant that is run by the Marbella Club and has excellent food. So what else do you want, right? The Bali style garden around which the property evolves gives charm to every single room that looks into it. It's chic, it's relaxing, it's cool. The back garden is really truly beautiful. I'm amazed at the ambience that is created in this space which is not too big and the mix of all these details together that create the sensation. In essence, the combination of architecture and nature. We have the natural orange stones in both corners, gorgeous trees set in a line, lots of glass, the concrete slabs creating the passerella with the Buddha set in front of the green tiles that create this frame and carry on under the water all the way to the other side where we have the view of the entrance hall from the backside, which again is stunning. We carry on past the two orange trees and get to the sitting area prior to the lounge. And this is a very important detail as well about these two sitting areas that we have in this house, which are, they are set at the north part of the living room. And in the summer, in those hot summer days when you wanna find a chilly spot, this is the perfect place to be and enjoy some time. Again, opening up the windows completely, the flow with the living and here is all connected. And pretty much, Take a look by yourself. It is a stunning garden, isn't it? And now tell me, what mansion, if you've been watching Property Tours, can be called a mansion if it doesn't have a cinema room, right? But before we go into it, I'd like to please ask you guys to subscribe to the channel, 
be amazing. We appreciate all your support and I hope you're enjoying this. So let's carry on. And this cinema is so spacious that it can afford a billiard table right here. We've got all our game stations behind me. Ceiling height is fantastic, the skylight is pretty awesome. We've got a library in the middle separating the two ambiences for all your DVDs, for all the movies that you like. Then this watching area is really comfy to enjoy your most favorite cinema and spend the most amazing time with your family and friends. So the kids' quarters are pretty awesome and let me try and explain to you. Basically, we have the option of having one bedroom, bathroom entrance, then another bedroom, bathroom and separate entrance connected with the third bedroom, bathroom, all of them separate entrance and their own terraces as well. But the beauty of this distribution, depending how many kids you have, the current owner has this all connected through the sliding doors using the other bedrooms as games room but all of this can be easily separated just taking the doors away creating a proper wall and then you end up with three bedroom suites all with the separate entrance through the hallways i like how the bedroom areas have natural wood on the floor and through this spacious hallway we get to the master suite master suite is in the furthest corner of the property away from all the other rooms and it's southeast facing so you get the morning sun rather than the rest of the property that gets the afternoon sun which is also pretty awesome to combine those two features you've got your own private terrace out here plenty of palm trees and olive trees it's spacious it's big it's nicely decorated at the back we have the double walk-in closet and over here through this sliding cool doors that allow a little bit of light going even if it's closed. We have the Bali style bathroom. Playing with these doors, you can create the effect of the bath being inside your master or away in the bathroom. The wall on the other side is an art piece all by itself. I love this dark wood, the wood in the middle, the natural ceramic over here, double vanity, which is black and white with the LED lighting of these mirrors, which are so sleek pretty awesome then of course we've got lots of light coming through the windows the huge showers on that side then we have the huge toilet space on this side through this glass doors and let's not forget about the makeup area which is the last touch to the bathroom we've got more closet space all around and where are we going now who knows if you've been following around you're pretty sure you know because i told you what's down here but it's pretty cool because normally the spa area is somewhere in the basement or it's somewhere on the second floor away or something like that. But in this house, you're in your own master suite, enjoying whatever you're enjoying. And then suddenly you just have a door straight, immediately one step and you can be in the sauna, in the heated swimming pool, in the gymnasium, lots of light, amazing space. And if you notice, of course, guests can arrive to the spa directly from the garden, directly from the entrance hall without going through the main house which is also pretty cool. But again, imagine you don't like that concept. You don't want anyone walking in here. This being just part of your master suite, you just close it off. No one can access. And this becomes part of that huge 200, 300 square meter master suite with an indoor heater swimming pool. At the end of the day, your house, your rules, right? So you've seen the gymnasium, which also featured a nice jacuzzi over here. And here is the final spa element with so cool lighting on the walls, creating that special atmosphere to relax. Great size, great swimming pool. Got the double showers over here. All the Zen elements are in place. The water overflows these green tiles, making some nice noise into the white stone. You've got the wood deck, even a palm tree in here everything prepared for that perfect relaxation and once again connected directly with the outside which i'd like you to have a look if you come over here that through this glass entrance that we get another new perspective of we see the painting which impresses me from the first moment i walked into the house and even as part of the decoration of the spa and we're basically back at point number one when everything started i hope you really enjoyed this tour it's been my utter pleasure to show you this house and its level of perfection which has me mesmerized all the best thank you for watching us i'll see you next week